Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is another video tutorial in PHP for the new Boston. In this video I'm going to be talking uh, on the subject of operators but we're going to be using comparison operators and I'm going to be showing you uh, how they work and what they're useful for. Now let's go back to our previous examples of having variables. I'm going to say um, 10 and number 2 I'm going to make that equal to 9. Now Comparison operators are basically when we compare one or more values, uh, we can compare any amount of values we want. In this example, we're going to be comparing sort of a maximum of three values just to demonstrate, but without going uh, going too far over time. Now, for this uh, example, we're going to be using if statements. So, uh, if you haven't already learned about if statements, go to the video about if statements and have a look at that so you can get a general idea. But as far as this is concerned, I'm going to set up an if statement. Um, with my block just under here as well so I've got the block of data that's going to be executed here if this equals true now remember this uh, inside here evaluates to either true or false uh, therefore if I was to say if true uh, I'm going to echo out um, inside so this is inside out our block uh, I'm going to refresh and that says inside however if I was to change this to false and I refresh it's not going to echo anything out because this has evaluated automatically to false. I've used the false keyword. Now it's the same as if I was to do one equals one. Now you probably noticed I've just put two equal signs in there. Now remember when we assign values we use a single equal sign. However, when we use double value, a uh, double equal sign, we compare. So we're comparing the number one to the number one. Now the number one is equal to the number one. This means is equal to. So we're asking the question, is one equal to one and this statement will evaluate to true so we are going to echo out the text inside so let's uh, refresh inside now we can say if does one equal two it doesn't so we're not going to echo this text out now the other um, the other um, assignment oper comparison operator sorry um, are not equal to so what we do is we use an exclamation mark and then we still use a single equal sign so we've got two characters here we've got an exclamation mark and a single equal to sign and this in plain English reads to does one or doesn't one equal two or does this not equal this now the answer is yes it doesn't one doesn't equal two so therefore we this is going to evaluate to true so one doesn't equal two therefore we're going to echo out the text inside now if we change this back to a one does one not equal one or well, one does equal one so this is going to evaluate to false so let's refresh and we don't echo the text out so now what we can do is start working with things like greater than and greater than or equal to or less than or less than or equal to so um, for example, oh, just to let you know beforehand, this can also be written like this. So we've got sort of conflicting less than and greater than signs. So one um, is equal to one, so we're not displaying anything. However, if we change this back to two, as I've shown in the previous example, uh, it's still working. So it can be this or this. It's entirely up to you. I always prefer this. I just think it's a lot easier to uh, to read and, and process in your mind because uh, we tend to think of this as sort of... Uh, maybe a perhaps a negative thing like uh, we're exclaiming something so it doesn't equal to you know it's just a lot easier to read so let's go on to in incorporating our variables up here that I've assigned earlier uh, into this if statement now I want to say does is or is number one greater than number two so in here I'm gonna change this text so I'm gonna say either yes or no so yes is gonna be our text um, we're echoing out otherwise echo no so we're using an if else uh, statement now so if number one is greater than number two we say yes otherwise we say no so obviously in this case number one is equal to ten and number two is equal to nine so number one is bigger than number two so or greater than in in real terms so we're echoing out the text yes now if I was to change this to smaller than so is uh, or less than is number one less than number two 
uh, it's not so this statement here is going to evaluate to false um, and we say no it's not so we, that's the text we echo out to the screen now what we can also do is we can say um, is number one greater than or equal to now if we just left this as greater than and we had 10 and 10 10 isn't greater than 10 it's equal to 10 so this is still going to evaluate as false so we're reading is 10 greater than 10 and the answer is of course no it stays as no um, however if we incorporate an equal sign in remember when we did the not equals we're incorporating the equal sign this now reads is number 10 greater than or equal to number 2 and in fact this statement is going to evaluate to true because 10 isn't greater than but it is equal to so we get the text yes echoed and we can do exactly the same with less than or equal to we're still going to be receiving the value yes because it is still equal to um, as well if we were to put this as 2 this is now uh, smaller than it's not equal to but it is smaller than so when we do refresh we still get the value yes echoed out okay so now um, these are the um, uh, comparison operators we're comparing two different numbers or two different variables uh, as it stands this may as well read obviously 2 and 10 because we're just uh, replacing the uh, variables inside here um, but however simple they may seem they are extremely useful uh, you'll probably find yourself using the double equals a lot if you're creating code for example if a user was to submit a password through a form you may want to check if their password is equal to maybe um, a preset password or, or a password stored in the database and therefore what we would do is we would do something like if we were to have a preset password I'm gonna set my password up here to password so obviously quite a basic password um, and I might say if password so it helps if you read it out as English if password um, equals equals um, password then we echo correct otherwise so else echo incorrect so the way we read this is in English would be um, password the variable password equals password this is the password that needs to be matched now we say if um, the password so the password up here is equal to password correct otherwise incorrect so refresh at the moment it's correct however if we were to change this to something else it's incorrect so you can see how on a daily basis this could come into great use um, and these comparison operators can help you operate your program um, really really well